All right, let's see an application of a three by three systems of equations. How do I know I have three variables? Because I got milk, water, and chips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say let x, if I can write, let x equal the price of the milk. So it says you picked up four gallons of milk, six bottles of water, and six nice sides of chips. I'm going to let y equal the water. Then matter. Okay, I'm just going in order. And then I'm going to let z equal the chips. All right, so it says that four gallons of milk, so four times number of gallons of milk sold, plus six bottles of water, however many waters were sold, plus six bags of chips, all of that cost $33.10. All right, it says if a bottle of water, so water, is twice as much as a bag of chips. Well, that would be twice as much of a bag of chips. And then it says um, a gallon of milk is $2.10 more than the water. So the water being Y, or I could go ahead and say, well, Y is 2Z. All right, so I have three equations here. I have an equation right there, an equation right there, an equation right there. So how are we going to solve this? Well, probably my eyeball, and I don't want you to think that means multiplying. Those are the equation number. My eyeball kind of goes to, well, if both of these are solved in terms of Z, why not take, and where I see X, plug, oops, that in. Where I see Y, plug that in, and then this equation will be in terms of everything of Z. So let's do it. So I got 4 times 210 plus 2Z plus 6y, and y is 2z, plus that 6z. Kind of the whole key there is that you see that everything now is in, in terms of one variable. All right, and that's, that's what you want to end up doing. And so now I can distribute the 4 times 210, so I get 840. The 4 times the 2z, so I get 8z and then plus 12z is my 3310. And what I do is I collect all the like terms. Oh, I missed my 6z. What you let me miss that for? Plus my 6z. I collect all the like terms. So that would be 8 plus 12, 20, plus 6, the one I forgot, 26z. And then I would take 3310 minus 840, and I get 2470. 2470. What did I do? I subtracted the 840 from both sides, minus 840. And then I take the 2470, and I divide by 26, and I get 95, or 0 0.95. We would hope a bag of chips isn't $95, right? So in other words, a bag of chips is 95 cents. So I have that one. My chips, 95 cents. I bet you can figure out how to get the price of water. Plug in what Z equals, and that would be $1.90. And then finally, the same thing here, 210 plus 2 times my Z. And that would end up being 
four dollars. So four dollars for milk, dollar ninety for water, and ninety-five cents for chips.